Hey, Local 5, it's Dave. Just got a quick update for you. It's been a minute since I've talked to you last. I want to give you a little information between the last time that we spoke and the upcoming assessment meeting and just emphasize some of the reasons why it's so important for everybody to come out and support our position of pursuing a collective bargaining campaign and bill to establish um, public safety as a priority in this community once again. We just met with the mayor and with Jeff Green. They gave us this really new, cool... Uh, comparison on salaries that they want to use uh, going forth to justify the fact that we really don't need a pay raise because you're working your asses off and the overtime calculation that they're throwing into this is what they're saying is making that overall average uh, impact for salaries. Just to let you know they're showing a fire lieutenant at $106,000 a year on average and a fire driver engineer 94000 I picked those two out because I was uh, an engineer for three months of last year and a lieutenant for nine months of last year and my W-2 said that I made about $85,000 so the fact is that they're showing 96,000 or 95,000 and uh, nine, or $106,000 as averages for those two different ranks uh, would lead you to believe that I didn't make it even for the uh, the driver engineer uh, that they're showing I'm sorry at 94,151 mine was 85 at that split so all of that being said folks they are working hard to develop new ways to take money away from you and you're thinking to yourself hey stormwater hopefully is going to be successful and with the fact that our uh, pay comparisons that just came out in the media that we had discussions about show us seven and a half percent behind right now and we'll, we'll, we're forecasted to be over ten percent behind market for next year so surely if stormwater passes uh, we're going to get a significant catch-up pay uh, pay raise. Well, they're projecting right now, so they're already scheduling your pay raise for next year, 2%. If you're lucky, 2.5. That's what they're looking at for next year. That's what they're forecasting right now for the budget for 2018, 2 to 2.5%, which means we'll be 75 to 8% behind market starting at the first of the year. And we are, in fact, in the fastest-growing most costly uh, environment probably within the state, especially for housing. And you're thinking, well, if all that money's going to go away from the impact of the general fund for stormwater, what gives? Well, has anybody he heard of the, the, the big release of the downtown redevelopment project that just came out? A $2 billion project? 1.8 of that's coming from the developers. Guess where the other $200 million is coming from? That's right. Infrastructure support by the city of Colorado Springs, $10 million a year for the next 20 years. Says it right there in the newspaper, can't be a lie. Norwood Developments in the city projecting to cover this cost as we are currently as we're doing this Olympic uh, Museum Hall of Fame. We're building infrastructure for that. So all of that money that was going to stormwater that shouldn't have been going to stormwater out of the general fund because the, the mayor made a, what I feel is a, an unwise decision to, uh, to pay that ransom to Pueblo. Another side story. That money, if stormwater goes through, will be re-diverted to, to pay for this development downtown. Uh, not only does that impact the rest of the city that's falling apart as far as the infrastructure, I believe, but public safety, which is falling further behind, not only in our compensation, but also for uh, giving us the tools to the ability to do our job as we're literally taking a pound of flesh out of the asses of our employees to make the world go right around right now as far as us being able to deliver the services that we do to our community. So just when you thought, like I said, that stormwater was going to make our world go uh, a lot better, the developers once again in this city are continuing to redirect money from the general fund to fund their own projects and to make themselves a little bit richer and not really be too concerned about us. We're also fighting and looking at the upcoming vote to restructure the fee structure for the Banning Lewis Ranch going on out east. They're looking once again to cost shift those facts of things that have happened in the past, which is the reason why we've got such a huge stormwater issue right now, not holding developers accountable for the rapid urban sprawl without developing the infrastructure necessary to support that. Um, they're looking to change that fee structure so that Norwood Developments, who just bought like 20,000 acres out in Banning Lewis Ranch, can make more money when they build that urban sprawl that's going on out there. Uh, it took us, what, seven years to get Fire Station 22 because we couldn't hold developers accountable for putting fire stations in the middle of a, a development that's literally gone past it. Um, once again, we're just looking at doing the same thing. All of this stuff being said, folks, I ramble on about all this crap for one reason. One, to let you know that we're working our asses off to try to take care of you, to get this information and to push back against the power players. But we don't have 
the strength in, 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 in just standing up front unless we've got a strong organization that's willing to stand together behind us. And if you don't come together and demonstrate the fact that you really care about standing together side by side, shoulder to shoulder, in strength and unity with one voice to make an impact into this community to establish your own destiny, then we're not going to be able to influence or change anything else that goes on within this community. We've shown that we can make an impact here politically. I know that our good name will definitely carry the day with a lot of energy and effort and some finances on a short duration to, to, to change the circumstances that we currently have and to put into place a guarantee for our employees to feel like they're going to be well considered and that their compensation and their department is going to become public safety once again will be a priority in this community and take the power away from the power players that are out there but we can't fight against the machine unless we stand together if I don't have your help come out and support this if we don't get 51 percent of membership if we don't get people actively engaged in, in fighting back against the machine we're going to lose so once again please please consider 15th 16th or 17th of august come out be part of the process we're hopeful that obviously you support the process we've got executive board members that will be coming out to the stations here shortly to once again reinforce some of the positions i ramble on about here and also to uh, answer questions and probably bring some additional information that i can't uh, um, contain within a what i hope to try to be a, a shortened video because once again yes my happy ass rambles a lot it is some cool choo-choo paper though anyway thank you so much for uh, for watching as always if you have any questions please don't hesitate to call me uh, if you don't have much time or you just don't want to hear me ramble just say nah readers digest version bro and and we'll make things happen if you've got some questions we're here to support you our executive board appreciates it and we're hopefully uh, hopeful to see you guys come out or folks come out and support this effort thank you